is a uh, MQ-8B Fire Scout vertical unmanned aerial system. It's based on a civilian helicopter. It's a totally autonomous UAV. It uh, currently is in service in the U.S. Navy uh, and landing on and off uh, ships is a uh, key capability for Fire Scout. Um, it is uh, tied to the U.S. Navy's littoral combat ship um, and will we'll, uh, be a program aboard that. It also has uh, been selected by the U.S. Army as a vertical unmanned system, aerial system for the brigade combat team and it will support the tactical warfighter uh, and go where the warfighter goes. It's based on the Schweitzer civilian 333 helicopter, so Northrop Grumman and Schweitzer partnered. Uh, of course, Northrop Grumman's legacy of unmanned aerial vehicles goes back over 60 years to the days of Ryan and the original Northrop. All of our UAVs are autonomous, Global Hawk, Fire Scout, and others in our portfolio. Um, the key that uh, what we bring to uh, the tactical commander is um, real-time intelligence, surveillance, and reconnaissance via various sensors and payloads. Uh, Fire Scout is a very highly developed UAV. It's a uh, not a small aircraft. It's a 3,150-pound max gross weight aircraft. It can carry up to 600 pounds of payload, sensors, uh, and can stay airborne uh, uh, up to eight hours. So it's got quite a bit of capability, and it's also, as a program of record for the U.S. Navy and U.S. Army, uh, it has uh, a, a strong um, support system that comes with it in the terms of spares, training, uh, logistics, and maintenance, and the things that you would expect a program of record would bring. It also has a great complementary capability to manned aviation. So when you have manned aircraft working alongside unmanned aircraft, you have the ability of Fire Scout to do things that you just don't need a person in the cockpit to do. So it's fully network centric, right? Yes, fully network centric. The uh, data goes down the tactical common data link to the ground control segment, wherever that is, on the ship that's in the CIC, uh, the Combat Information Center. Uh, on the ground, it would be in a command center, a command module on, on a vehicle normally, and then that information can get disseminated to the network. The littoral combat ship is very modular in nature. Uh, they have modular payloads that go aboard the ship depending on the mission. Um, and there are three primary missions for the littoral combat ship, anti-submarine warfare, anti-surface warfare, and mine warfare. Fire Scout has payloads and sensors that will contribute to all of those mission areas. Uh, is it operationally realistically challenge, uh, more challenging to land than UAV on a ship, uh, considering it's, uh, it's not uh, a stable uh, platform? Or sure. And we have a system that uh, has been developed by Sierra Nevada Corporation called UCARS, Unmanned Common Automatic Recovery System. It's a very precise millimeter wave radar system that allows Fire Scout to land autonomously and take off us autonomously on the ship. So there's no man in the loop at any time.